Good morning. It's a nice, beautiful day today. We woke up uh, just a few hours ago. We had a little bit of issue from last night with the Airbnbs, so we're trying to settle the problem. I feel like we might need to get to another different hotel or Airbnb because it's very impractical. It takes a lot of time to shower, to be honest, and yeah, I feel like that's just like the basic needs that needs to be solved. We grab a bowl from the kitchen and what you do is put hot water here. Yeah, fill it up. A little bit of 25% of cold water in here to mix it up. Okay. You stir it and then when you're taking a shower, you pour it over your head like this. To wash, your, wash yourself. You gotta keep doing that. Anyways, we're gonna get something to eat now for breakfast. How's the sandwich? It's good. It's alright. We also got some coffee. We just had, quickly had breakfast earlier today. We went to the Starbucks, although they don't have the best breakfast there. We're trying to just uh, get the Airbnb situation settled. Yeah, so whenever we come on trips, we try to get on Airbnb and uh, stay at a cheaper place. But and every single time we encounter some problems. Some problems are minor, some problems are major. And like this one is kind of like a big deal. And uh, every time when we come across these problems, we think, okay, we're not gonna stay at another Airbnb, Airbnb next time. And we keep staying, booking at air, another Airbnb whenever we go somewhere because it's just so much cheaper. <laughs> if you stay at a nice uh, expensive Airbnb, we have some good experiences, but in general, like if you stay at these cheaper Airbnbs, it's hit or miss. In the past, we had a problem like this, similar to this in the past, but different types of problem in the past. We'll link the video up there so you guys can check it out. One hour later, I think the problem is solved. We're staying one more night to test it and if there's a problem still persists, then we're not gonna go to somewhere else. It's just so frustrating when you have to <laughs> deal with these things. I guess enough of rambling, complaining, we're gonna get on with the day. So despite of the time, trains are all packed because I think there's somebody who jumped in front of the train and died. Where are you now, Minju? Montesando. So train that we got on is the most popular train in Japan in Tokyo and then oftentimes people commit suicide and they jump in front of the train causing like delay uh, maybe like 20 minutes to get everything cleared up so it takes a while you just stop hitting me with the umbrella <laughs> but Tokyo is just a completely a different animal roll fish oh California roll oh wow they have rolls that's a uh, that's pretty rare we've been missing rolls yeah Tokyo's got everything. When we live in the in the US, we miss like the real Japanese sushi, but when you live in Japan, you miss the American rolls, the fried rolls. During the weekends, this cat street gets packed, but today it's empty on weekday. Andrew, let me show you where I used to get a haircut when it was fancy, was trying to be fancy. So I used to get a haircut there. That's a fancy hair salon I used to go to. But look at this one, this one's also nice. So believe it or not, I used to live in this area like five years ago for a little while. Oh wow, look at this. I thought it was just a side, but over here. Let's check the inside. Here. Wow. 
That's so cool. Look at that. That's so cool. Just having too much fun. She forgets that I'm here. <laughs> Show me what you got. Ooh, ooh, princess. I want to pierce here, but it's like always no. So <laughs> I just got the earring. Yeah, the fake one, right? Yeah. Without the hole. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's nice. Minju is loving the store there. It smells good, huh? But it was too expensive. Yeah. Like 40 bucks for the small bottle? Yeah? Yeah, the for Lumi spray. But if, if you want to buy uh, the perfume, you need to pay the $90. $90? Yeah. Minju, this is the kind of experience, shopping experience that you're looking for, right? In Tokyo. Yeah, right. Yeah, if you want to shop it in Japan, come to Harajuku. Yeah, I like here. Like here? So shopping in Harajuku is nothing like it. It's unlike other places. Like you don't ever see that many of like uh, chain stores. Earth Cafe Part Two. We got the food: chicken curry sandwich, green tea boba, tortilla salad. Looking good. There's a Galaxy event here. I think they're doing like a free trial of the VR. Here, the new galaxy. Like a pretty interesting, cool looking phones there. Yeah, S8. Those are nice and it was pretty fun to go there. They rent bicycles here at this apparel shop. Interesting on Cass Street. Well, it's pretty cool, but in, like, uh, in Japan, a lot of people use iPhones, not Galaxy. So then uh, if you get that phone, your beautiful screen, it's hard to find uh, like a protective case for it in Japan too. So interesting, like in Japan, you can't get food to go. But you can in Korea, right? Yeah, they freak out when you ask them for like two gold box. They're like, oh, we don't do that. We don't want to be responsible for you know you taking home and then getting sick afterwards. That was a lot of walking and there was a lot of people. I thought I lived in a city when I lived in Osaka, but it, when you come to Tokyo, it's completely a different story. You constantly feel overwhelmed and there's just abundant number of people and it's crazy to think that there's so many people and like each person has their own individual thoughts when they're and they're living. They're different lives. I think Tokyo is a, one of the biggest cities and it's just the feel you get is unreal. Like Osaka is number two city in Japan, but like, compared to Tokyo, it's much, much smaller. Ah, man, like whenever I, I used to live in Tokyo and then when I live in Tokyo, I didn't feel this much of like being feeling overwhelmed. But like when you move out of the city for a little while, you just come back, feel like very tiring. And uh, well, at the same time, it's very fun, exciting. I mean, I've been to New York, but I feel like this is more crazy than New York. Anyways, uh, today we're meeting someone new, people who you may know already, so we're pretty excited. Hello. 
So Minju, how was the meal? It was good. It was good, right? It was so much fun talking to yeah. Thomas and Tracy. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> They're so nice. They're exactly like on in the videos. <laughs> yeah, right. They're super nice. And living up to expectations of fun. <laughs> There's a Ferrari truck right there. Thomas and Tracy behind the camera. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. They're doing their YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some drinks here. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. Not sponsored by Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, guys. We just <laughs> had an awesome time with Thomas and Tracy. Yes. yes. They're awesome and uh, we'll see each other. Awesome. Yeah, see each other again tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, thanks guys for watching and see you tomorrow. Yay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>